Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Darren. I guess you guys something interesting to take a look at and a suggestion of, I guess, of what Blizzard could fix with Assassination. I'm not saying Assassination is in a bad spot. I actually think they're a pretty good spec. I've been running a bunch of different builds for BGs and I actually was having a lot of fun until this one battleground here. See, what I was doing is I was just running some BGs back to back to back because of the BG extra honor points week. And I was just enjoying myself, just having some fun, playing some alliance, playing some horde, but mostly playing on my main character, just swapping from faction to faction, just trying out different specs. I've been playing Assassination, Subtlety, and Outlaw. Assassination is one of the specs that I was like, oh, I guess I might as well give it a try. I haven't played it in a while, so, you know, why, why, why not? Why not? So, I've been playing Assassination for a bit, I've been playing a few builds, and then I run into this battleground. Remember how when Paladins used to be able to just because of their presence every single cast uh, that's happening near the paladin came with a cleanse and how assassination rogues were talking about how if a paladin is present in the game holy paladin protection paladin or red pally and they're running that talent to cleanse poisons all day none of your poisons will stick to the target and it was making for a very dull and energy starved gameplay from an assassination rogue perspective well, I'll run into something similar and you'll see that there's two Mist Rivers and a Paladin and that Paladin is actually spamming the new version of that cleanse. Instead of a passive ability, now it's an active ability that costs mana and a 4 second cooldown. What it does is cleanses all poisons and diseases within the Paladin's area around 15 yards. So you'll see just how often my poisons keep falling off of whatever target that I'm hitting as long as a Paladin is involved or as long as one of the monks are involved. Anyway, I was playing this BG and I thought to myself, like, is this fair is this is this normal is this okay because uh, you gotta realize the energy star was real i was thinking we were going into some kind of energy crisis right then and there on the spot i thought this was bizarre i'm like i have no energy i actually can't use any of my abilities this is a uh, really annoying and it's actually it ended up being so tilting that I was just actually legitimately getting frustrated i'm just sitting there and I'm like, oh, come on, energy, get back, get back, energy, get back. I'm waiting for my energy to come back. I'm waiting for my poisons to actually apply through auto attacks through the normal 50% application that deadly poison has and crippling poison. And it's just, it seems like as soon as I get a poison, it's just gone. So then I'm waiting for my bleeds and my bleeds are ticking when the poison isn't there. So I'm not getting energy back. If you guys were not aware, Assassination Rogue's energy management works like this. You have to have a target poisoned. You have to have a poison sitting on a target. And every time one of you bleeds, ticks on a poison target, you get energy per tick of the bleed. So your Garrote, your internal bleeding, and your Rupture, all three of those can give you a tick of a bleed, which will give you energy back. But since there are so many cleanses going on, it's almost like every single target that I'm sitting up with bleeds, all those poisons are gone, so I'm not getting energy for all those bleeds. Like, the damage is going out, but I'm never getting the energy to come back, to uh, start generating combo points, so I can invest them into finishers, and I can do my own same old dance and song. In the end, it ends up being me trying to survive, let's say, a warrior hitting me, and I'm just using Faint, waiting for my energy to come back, hoping that I maybe will be able to get a mutilate in there, and then my health keeps dropping off, so I'm like, alright, I gotta refresh faint. And so my energy regeneration is so slow that basically all I can do is faint and then wait for faint uh, to come back up in terms of energy and then hit faint and then just try to survive as best as I can. So I found this to be a very dull playstyle and it was actually kind of weird because I felt like I'm basically not being allowed to play my class. On one hand, there could be a situation where I'm just getting CC'd out of the wazoo. I'm getting triple polymorphed, I'm getting triple cloned, I'm getting triple stunned and I'm going doing this whole song and dance in circles. I would understand that because then I'd feel like somebody is going out of the way to CC me. Somebody's actually using abilities that are interruptible. But here is we have a paladin and they have an AoE cleanse as of patch 715. Actually, I think it might have been added sometime through patch 7.1 or might have been through this patch. I'm not sure. But if you have two one walk, uh, two mystery monks that have a cleanse that can remove poisons. And then we have a paladin who can remove poisons and diseases. And I feel like my poisons are falling off every single time here we go by the way chaos bolt through a cloak i'm not sure what happened there i thought i used chaos bolt while the uh, i mean cloak while the chaos bolt was mid-air and i was pretty sure i was going to be able to uh, absorb it and not take damage not sure what happened anyway i felt like after playing this bg it's just it was weird dynamic i, I i'm actually sure i'm getting frustrated i have zero energy all i can do is put faints all i can do is put bleeds and it feels like i'm just falling behind because i'm literally not allowed to generate energy and I thought to myself, like, you know, this is something I talked about before, but how can Blizzard solve this? And I feel like this is something that isn't intended. I honestly don't believe Blizzard intended for this to happen. I think Blizzard did intend for 
paladins and monks to be able to cleanse wound poison so then somebody whoever has taken poison damage or has a wound poison on them can still get healed back to full so you would cleanse the poison heal it back to full because the poison applies with just about every single hit so it's like uh auto applied it's not like a mortal strike that you have to have a cooldown and ready that for and then apply it on an enemy it's just something that applies all the time deadly poison and wound poison i understand but the energy regeneration mechanic i was pretty sure that blizzard didn't intend for that to happen because then it it just turns into a straight up miserable experience when playing assassination anyway i just think what they should do with wound poison and how that functions um in terms of energy region is to allow assassination rogues to gain energy per bleed tick doesn't and take away that part where it says on a poison target i do understand that the spec is about poisons but i feel that it would allow for a little bit more consistency and it wouldn't completely lock you out of playing your character and playing your class simply because a paladin enters the room because I feel like that wasn't intended. I don't think that devs intended for it to be so. If they did, that that's just a sick joke in my opinion. But yeah, I just think that it should probably change the ability and make it work off of bleeds. Not bleeds on a poison target, just bleeds alone. And I know that there would be, might be some room for like maybe OP use of like uh, all the bleeds and maybe some kind of like a cheeky strategy. I know that there's like a, either a ring or a, or a trinket with one of the bosses in Karazam, I think it's Morose, and you can get basically this growth like ability, quote unquote, and will persevere on a target until they're dead. So I feel like that might be a little bit OP because you could maybe put this on train dummies or something in Stormwind or Augurmar, then fly out to the dueling area, and then you'll continuously generate energy or something of sort. Maybe, but that is the worst of it that I can really even imagine, funny enough. Anyway guys, I think this is all I have for you in terms of assassination, and this is just something I observed while playing a BG. Assassination is a great spec, but this is just, I don't know, after playing this, you just feel like, man, well that sucked. <laughs> I don't know, it just kind of, it was a bit of a killjoy when I was uh, trying to play assassination and this uh, BS was happening to me on my end. I just didn't really know what to do about it because there's not a lot you can really do when you just have zero energy. You can kind of hope for random energy procs and hope that your poisons do apply on the enemy. But then when they just keep getting dispelled over and over and over, it does get a little bit annoying. Anyway guys, let me know what you think about the fix that I am proposing. What would you do differently? Have you felt that what I'm feeling right now is assassination before? And what are your thoughts on paladins and how they interact with the rogues? Thank you guys so much for watch this video i hope you enjoyed i hope you guys liked the video and i'll see you guys in the next one